Okay, this is Geeks and Gamers. I fucking hate this website. It's full of man children bitching about SJWs like it's 2015. And this video, Star Wars Squadrons, introduces pronouns for characters. More SJW pandering. Ah, oh, god, this is gonna be painful. So, sorry that I'm going to be subjecting you to this torture as well, but, eh, you know, whatever. Are you one of the people that was looking forward to Star Wars Squadrons? I totally understand. Um, unfortunately, I've never played a Star Wars video game before. This, this is Jeremy, by the way. Jeremy is a huge twat. You'll probably find out the longer we watch this. I know a lot of people that have been looking forward to Star Wars Squadrons. I'm not one of them, but I'm glad that there were people out there that was excited. And I feel like those people, a lot of those people that were excited are going to be very disappointed by this news. But identity politics continues to find its way in to a galaxy far, far away. This is Kathleen Kennedy's Star Wars. It doesn't matter if there are elements that you enjoy or that I enjoy. And there are small elements that I enjoyed. Um, I really enjoyed the final four episodes of The Clone Wars Season 7. I thought it was fantastic. I enjoyed The Mandalorian Season 1 for the most part. And I'm looking forward to Season 2. But it still doesn't take away from the dark cloud of nonsense and identity politics that hangs over Lucasfilm. This is Star Wars moving forward. Uh, see what I mean? I identity politics. They always complain about the... Like, like they, they all sound the fucking same. Like, Geeks, Geeks and Games is no different from like, every other anti-SJW nerd thing ever. He's the, the, the exact same as the quartering. I mean, oh man. Like, if this was, if this game was released 10 years ago and they were making news that there was a, a, a gay person in this video game, he'd be complaining about that for forced representation as well. I mean, it's, this is headache inducing. Now, in Star Wars Squadrons, it's been confirmed that one of the pilots has pronouns. Here's Mitch Dyer. For so, everyone has pronouns. I mean, most people tend to go by he, him, she, her, but yes, there are people that use they, them, they, yeah, they, them, there. I hate to burst your bubble, but non-binary people exist, and non-binary people are valid, and they use they, them pronouns. Friendly PSA as people start talking about characters. Keo, I guess that's how you say the name, uh, pronouns in Star Wars Squadrons are they, them. Thank you. Yes, that is what everyone that is interested in a galaxy far, far away wanted to know about pronouns with a character. How, how in the world does anyone at Lucasfilm thinks that this is good for Star Wars to push real-world identity politics into a galaxy far, far away? Oh, boo-hoo, Jeremy. I mean, Star Wars is very popular. It likely appeals to some non-binary people or people that use they, them pronouns. They're probably happy about the representation. Now, to be, now to be fair, Star Wars is a Disney subsidiary. Disney does not really care about these identity politics. They only care about making money. But hey, representation is a good thing. 
and like you, you complaining about Star Wars, st- like real world politics being forced onto Star Wars. C- c- come on, Jeremy, this is nothing new. I mean, you will complain. I mean, you said that you like the Star Wars prequels. I haven't seen the prequels for a few years. I'm not sure how they hold up. Honestly, probably not great. But people were complaining that Revenge of the Sith was an allegory for the Iraq War. Yeah, people have been complaining about politics in Star Wars for... Like, ever since Star Wars started, George Lucas says actually said that Revenge of the Sith was an allegory for the Vietnam War. I mean, visionary filmmakers tend to put their politics into their art. But I'm going a little far afield. Let's continue, because this is primarily meant to be about this video game. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much there are elements of Star Wars that might seem okay and that you might enjoy. It has been ruined. It is no longer about Star Wars. It is about pushing agendas, pushing nonsense. Oh no, non-binary representation or representation of people that use they, them pronouns. The entire... The entire space opera has been ruined. <laughs> oh no, how can Star Wars ever be saved? It's hopeless. <laughs> this is Kathleen Kennedy Star Wars. This is the Force's female. And the people they have decided they wanted to pander to are the same people that helped Solo lose money. Solo lost money. The same people that saw the sequel trilogy go from $2 billion with The Force Awakens all the way to barely breaking $1 billion with The Rise of Skywalker. Because identity politics ruins every single thing that it gets implemented into. Uh, This is nothing new, Jeremy. I mean, back in 1989, when Tim Burton made his Batman movie, they cast Billy Dee Williams, a black guy, to portray the pre-disfigured Harvey Dent, who's white in the comics. When Frank Miller wrote The Dark Knight Returns, his editor or somebody had to tell him that he had to make Robin a girl. Actual forced representation, and it's considered to be one of the best Batman stories ever written. This is nothing new, Jeremy. If you if you existed in the 80s, you'd be, you'd be complaining about the Dark Knight Returns. Okay, not just that, like, Frank Miller actually included, like, Cold War politics in the Dark Knight Returns. Yeah, more, more politics. The Dark Knight Returns was loaded with politics. You, you got, you have a woman with, like, swastikas on her boobs. You're complaining about something that's always been present. And how the hell does this still have four more minutes? I mean, all of the... I mean, all of these Geeks and Gamers videos are the exact same. Nothing is... Not one of them is different. This is the latest example of that. Your Star Wars, the Star Wars you grew up with and loved and read about and watched videos and you know, watched movies and speculated with your friends and played with the toys, it doesn't exist anymore. The Star Wars that I grew up with was the prequels, which, I don't know. I do remember not liking Attack of the Clones very much. 
if that Star Wars is gone, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a good thing. It's all about pushing real-world politics. Kathleen Kennedy has said as much on camera. No matter how much we have talked about this woman and her maybe losing her job, it's clear Disney is scared to death to fire her. It's clear that they're never going to remove her because, of course, they can't. They've propped her up as this powerful woman, this you know amazing woman, and they, they respect women and women voices and all of that. There's no way they can get rid of her until she's ready to go. And she knows that. And so she's staying. And she's going to continue to push stuff like this into this product. Star Wars does not matter anymore. Disney Star Wars is irrelevant. It doesn't exist. It is nothing more than a social justice propaganda machine. We have seen it time and time again. And this is just another example. Just for just a reminder, he's complaining about pronouns. For a fictional character. Now, you might enjoy the game. I'm not going to play the game. Others might, and that's fine. We're going to cover it here on the channel. I believe Mark the Cyborg is going to cover the game. And maybe the game is fun. Maybe the game is entertaining to you. I personally enjoyed Battlefront 2. I know a lot of people didn't like Battlefront 2. I enjoyed Battlefront 2 for what it was. But... He says that Star Wars is dead. But he admits that there are things that he likes about it. He liked the Mandalorian. He liked this Battlefront video game. Okay, to be fair, he said that the Star Wars he grew, he grew up with is dead. Well, you know what? Like, your favorite franchise or whatever changes over time, Jeremy, when it swaps out artists, writers. I mean, I mean, The Simpsons from the 80s is is pretty much dead now. And, and, and I'm, I'm not really saying that the whole, you know, Simpsons is dead and should be cancelled. Like, like, the first... Maybe even the first three seasons of The Simpsons are, are a fair bit different from, like, season 8 to 10 of The Simpsons. Like... Like the, I mean the fifth, I mean the earlier parts of Dragon Ball are radically different from the later parts of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball started off as a uh, adventure uh, martial arts comedy and turns into like a like super super dark fighting, uh, like aliens, lots of killing and brutal violence. I mean, if you, if it wasn't for Toriyama, for Toriyama's distinctive art style, you, you probably would have guessed there were different series. Yeah, your Star Wars is dead, Jeremy. It, but but you know what? If I'm going to be really brutal with this, it died after the first Star Wars movie. Because, you know, Lucas didn't have a plan for the original trilogy. And the later Star Wars movies were directed by different people. So, you, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm not playing Star Wars Squadrons. I have no desire to play this game whatsoever. And this only confirms it. I mean, I, I, was, I was already out on this game before... Um, this announcement, now that I hear that they're actually pushing identity politics into it, it just continues to show us exactly what I've been telling you for years. And it's why I don't talk about Star Wars that much anymore, because I am completely checked out. Like, I really am. My, the, most, the most connection I have to Star Wars right now is wearing this hat. Um, and really, it's less about wearing uh, a Star Wars hat and more so just wearing a comfortable hat. Because Star Wars... As we know it, under Disney, under Kathleen Kennedy, is garbage, it's trash, and in terms of my interest, it's completely dead. It's over. Pronouns. He's complaining about pronouns. Ugh. Don't you think you're overreacting just a little bit? 
So, you guys let me know your thoughts about this. Are you excited for pronouns in Star Wars, everybody? Are you excited for pronouns? Can you only imagine how much worse this is going to get with identity politics? Real world I'm done voting this shit. Into a galaxy far, far away. When are we going to get, um, you know, uh, a, a gas station on the corner? Uh, a, a Tatooine, or maybe we're going to get a McDonald's, maybe we get a Whataburger. Uh, that's how stupid this is. I love McDonald's. Okay, to be fair, if they do put McDonald's in a future Star Wars movie, I will admit that would be really stupid. I agree with Jeremy on that. So, yeah, even the stopped clock is right twice a day. McDonald's. I love Whataburger, okay? But I don't want to see it in my... What's Whataburger? Can somebody explain that to me? My Star Wars because it's a galaxy far, far away. This has nothing to do with what, whether I like it or not. It's the fact is, why are you bringing real world stuff into it? I don't need to see NFL football. Well, I've gone into this. Well, I've gone over this. Star Wars has always been political. Art is political, Jeremy. Get over it. In Star Wars. I don't need to see a, a Nintendo Switch in Star Wars. Stop bringing real world stuff into it. And by criticizing this, the same losers on Twitter are going to say, Oh, he's being toxic. No, I'm being realistic. And a galaxy far, far away does not need real world 2020 identity politics being pushed into it. Just oh, you're t that argument falls apart over the slightest bit of thought, Jeremy. I mean, there aren't pronouns in a galaxy far, far away. Okay, you know what isn't in a galaxy far, far away? Well, as far as we know, people... Human beings. And honestly, we don't know what kind of technology is out there in a galaxy far, far away. So, like, uh, for, for, for the rockets that they show us in Star Wars, they, 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 they probably don't exist. And also, this is in a galaxy... Uh, also, this, these events happened a long time ago, so... Your argument is bullshit, Jeremy. I mean, god damn it, I hate geeks and gamers. Jeremy is such a fucking twat. Just like it doesn't need all the things that I just said. Doesn't mean I dislike McDonald's or Nintendo Switch. It just means it doesn't need to be in Star Wars. Leave your bullshit out of it. But you can't do that, can you, Lucasfilm? You have to continue to push your bullshit into it. And this is why people like me and so many others are just done. It, it is done. Star Wars sucks. Disney Star Wars sucks. It is not about Star Wars. It's not about George Lucas's creation. It's about Kathleen Kennedy's real world politics. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. And again, we have shifted the content here on the channel. We got a lot of new things that we're doing. Uh, uh, that was exhausting. I feel emotionally drained. Do I dare read the comments? Okay, I'll read the I'll, I'll read a few comments. Uh, man, I wish I could. Just, I wish I could downvote more than once. Imagine being a Star Wars writer, not knowing that the series literally has robots and aliens who aren't a race or have gender. That's a person, isn't it? I mean, uh Wait, doesn't C-3PO use he-him pronouns? Wait a second, wait, wouldn't aliens have... Wouldn't aliens have gender? I'm pretty sure aliens would have genders because they... Okay, unless maybe they're asexual, which I guess would be a sexuality. I guess agender is a... I guess they, they'd be agender as well.
But yeah, aliens would have aliens would would very most very likely have gender. Like, did did anyone say that? Well, technically, even huts have a gender, but they are considered hermaphrodites. Okay, yeah, that's that, yeah. Yeah, I guess that, I guess that works. I don't know why you are all complaining about this man. I mean, we all accept that Palpatine identifies himself as the Senate. Um, yeah, yeah. I stopped loving Star Wars 15 minutes into The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens was good. Fuck off. I'm so over Disney and Lucasfilm. I hate everything anymore. The world just sucks now. I hate everything anymore. That sounds like poor grammar. The SJWs have to ruin everything. Well, I remember when you, every YouTuber was like Disney is firing Kathleen Kennedy and then Disney was going to erase the sequel trilogy and they that they spent a billion dollars creating. If someone is referred to as they, them, I'm forced to assume they have multiple personalities. Ugh. There's no sign of intelligent life anywhere. <sighs> I... I, I'm at a loss for words. This is so. This was tiring. Oh, I've had enough of this. If you liked this video, please like. Could tell me what you think. This is. Uh, God, damn it. Mm, have a good. Have a good day. Although I'm, um, I'm to assume that your day has been ru ruined by me, uh, showing you this, this stupid ass geeks and gamers video. Sorry.